Okay, hi guys. So here we are, about to go through the wheel settings in Forza Motorsport 7 for the Logitech G920 wheel. Uh, but before I do, I've got to say firstly a huge well done to Turn 10 on the wheel physics improvements. The difference between Forza Motorsport 6 versus Forza Motorsport 7 is literally amazing. To put it bluntly, they feel nothing like each other, uh, which to be honest is just as well. Now, other than the amount of work which went on behind the scenes to improve wheel physics for Forza Motorsport 7, one of the reasons we can get the wheel feeling so good are the all new adjustments which are now available to customize the feel of your wheel. Uh, so let's take a look. Now for this video, I'm using the game demo as the full version is currently still a week away from launch. Uh, so the first thing we gotta do, let's go down to the options menu just here and then go across to controller. So the first thing we're met with here are the layout options. Now I normally use the manual gearbox when I'm racing. So I have my layout normally set to layout two. I do this uh, as the paddle shifters now control looking left and right, um, which is really useful when you're racing just to check there's no one down the side of you. Uh, this option does mean that there is no rewind button available, so for those of you that do utilize this feature, uh, be sure to turn the rewind on view button on. This will mean that you won't be able to change your view uh, while you're racing unless you do it from the pause menu, uh, which is no big deal. Okay, so press X and we go into the advanced options where we can see there's certainly no differences with dead zone controls, but as we move further down the options, things start to look a little bit more interesting. Now the first new option that we see as we're scrolling down uh, compared to Forza Motorsport 6 is this one right here. There it is, steering linearity. Um, now I've got to be honest, this is the option that you must get right. Um, get this one wrong and it's really not going to feel very good at all. Uh, now personally I've settled for an option of 57 and believe me I've spent hours trying to get this to feel as accurate as possible. Now uh, basically steering linearity acts like a sensitivity control which causes the steering to become more or less sensitive the closer or further away the wheel is from centre. So the lower the setting the more you have to steer before any reaction is noticed although the more sensitive the steering becomes as you move away from centre and the higher the setting the more sensitive the steering is close to center but becomes less sensitive as you move away from center. 57 uh, was just a value which I felt was best. Next in the list is force feedback understeer. Uh, now this affects the level of feedback you feel in order to help you recognize understeer is taking place. Uh, for me this option is really not that sensitive and I didn't feel much difference between the minimum and maximum values so I've just left mine at the default value of 100 and it feels absolutely fine. So force feedback minimum force is next and that sets the minimum amount of force you feel when the wheel is at or near centre. This option again it does make a bit of a difference um, but not a huge amount. Uh, so I've left it at a default value of 100 which gives a good feel um, as you sort of begin to initiate any steering. Uh, I've, I've left mine there, it seems, it seems good enough. Uh, the wheel damper scale uh, comes next and this is definitely one of the more sensitive options. Uh, initially the adjustment's going to feel a lot like you're adjusting force feedback scale but the big difference here is the wheel damper scale controls only the amount of force required to actually apply steering input. The force feedback scale option controls the overall strength of all the options available, almost like a master volume control works on a mixing desk or amplifier. Everything gets increased or decreased. Um, and with the wheel damper scale, again, it's just the force required to actually apply steering input. So based on this, I have my force feedback scale set at 100, but the wheel damper scale here, I've got set at 50. This gives a nice balanced feel across the board. The last one in the list is center spring scale, and this controls how much the wheel pulls itself straight after a turn. 
potentially much like the effects of tuning caster angle. Uh, but for me, the effects don't seem to be all that noticeable. I've left this at the default value of 100 and it feels pretty good. So there you have it guys, nice and simple. Uh, these are the settings I've used for my Logitech G920 and they feel pretty sweet. Uh, let me know what settings you've come up with and if you like this setup, let me know that too. Uh, please make sure you hit that like button if you found this useful and don't forget to hit the subscribe button also for more Forza Motorsport 7 videos coming very soon. Until next time guys, take it cheesy.